Hey guys, what's going on? This is Tim here with Artillery Life, and today I wanted to, oh, you know what? Hey, what's going on guys? How is everybody doing today? This is Tim with Artillery Life, and I wanted to go ahead and do a review of a lawnmower that I've already done, but I want to do this as like a one year later type review because I got a lot of views, a lot of comments, some good, some bad, some really bad on this lawnmower that I did a review on. And yes, we are talking about the Hyper Tough Lawnmower Push Mower by Walmart. Let's do it. Okay, so it's been just a little over a year since I got this lawnmower. This is the Hyper Tough Lawnmower. It's the Briggs and Stratton 300 Echo Series engine on it. I got this lawnmower when I first moved to Louisiana. I had about an acre size lot and I needed something to cut the grass with fast. And I didn't have a lot of enough, I didn't have a lot enough. Ugh. I didn't have a lot of money at the time because I just got done moving. And as you know, moving can be very, very expensive, but I needed something to cut the grass. So I got this cheap little guy at Walmart. Uh, it was around somewhere between 120, $140. Can't exactly remember off the top of my head, but I'll go ahead and put that in the video once I do a little more research. I went and got this lawnmower and Overall, over the last year, it has actually kept performing and did very well with very little to no maintenance. All right, so when I say very little to no maintenance, what I'm actually talking about is what I did to this lawnmower right here. For the most part was just I cleaned the under carriage of the deck uh, with a hose, just sprayed it off, got all the excess grass off of it. I made sure the gas was always you know, empty when I put it back. So that way gas just wasn't sitting in there in the lines and whatnot. Um, sometimes it didn't always work out that way. For the most part though, I tried to run the thing until it was completely empty and only used enough gas in there to actually make sure it was empty by the time I was done. I actually have not changed the oil in it yet. And I know I said in my first video that you should change the oil. Mm, call me a hypocrite i just didn't do it so if you've seen some of my other videos you know that i recently got a riding lawnmower and fixed it up for free uh i had a riding lawnmower got completely for free from a buddy uh and i kind of turned that into a project and i thought it was going to be longer than it was because that lawnmower didn't run nothing it actually only ended up taking me about a week to get it going it was really just some bad wiring and a bad carburetor once I got rid of those things, I was able to clean it up. But anyways, back to this lawnmower. I know I said the oil change was something that you should do and I still stick by that. I personally just had not did, done it for whatever reason or another. And it is still running pretty good. I have no real issues with it. In fact, it's now turned into, since I got the riding lawnmower up and running a few weeks ago, it's pretty much turned into my uh, tight edges lawnmower, you know, where you're going around trees. And I got a lot of stuff like this over here, um, which is obviously a lot of dirt, but I have a lot of trees in my front yard too. So, you know, going around these close edges and whatnot, I just use that push more still for those reasons. Don't mind the mess in my front yard, by the or my backyard, by the way. I did a lot of hedge trimming and I need to clean up. And in the fall time, I started using it too. It's kind of like a uh, leaf chopper if that makes any sense. So it's, and it's still working. So roughly here in Louisiana, you roughly have to use your lawnmower depending on where you're at. I'm in the Southwest portion. You need to use your lawnmower maybe around twice a week in the summertime, once a week in the spring, uh, once a week in the fall and the winter time, meh, you know, maybe once every month really the grass just doesn't grow that much here in the winter at least where i'm at so this thing has seen extensive use like i said i would have to cut my grass summertime wise running in that hot louisiana humid heat at least two times a week and it's still going and just to give you a size reference you know this is my backyard uh it's and then including the front yard up there in the front which is beyond the house <laughs> including that front yard i end up having it was 0.99 acres so pretty much an acre size lot and i was cutting all my grass for a whole year with that lawnmower uh and i tell you what in this louisiana heat i was sweating my buns off that's the main reason why i got that riding lawnmower yeah i probably should have just got a brand new one but where's the fun in that let's let's go ahead and save some money and and use something like youtube which is what i did to fix up that 
free riding Craftsman lawnmower that I ended up getting. So, so far over the whole year, anything, any problems that I have noticed, I have noticed zero. I have not had any problems, which is really surprising because like I said, I had a lot of comments on the video in my first initial review of this. And in that first initial review, a lot of people were telling me like, this is a garbage lawnmower. This is a stupid lawnmower. It won't run. I got it. They only ran like one time. And then other people were telling me much fewer like, oh, it, you know, this is pretty good for the price and whatnot. Honestly, my opinion, remember, this is my opinion. I'll probably get attacked for it, but whatever. <laughs> it works. I don't recommend an acre size lot anymore. Like I said before, maybe if you got like, you know, 0.75 or half an acre or something like that, a smaller yard because a regular push mower that is not self-propelled cutting a whole acre in the hot, hot South summers is kind of miserable. But for the price, I mean, I, I, I just can't complain. It, it worked for a whole year and it cut my grass. Um, but anyways, I really just wanted to go ahead and give you a one year update on this lawnmower. Hey, if there's anything else that I reviewed that you want an update on, you know, you want to see how it's running. So that way you can get a better idea. Go ahead, drop it in the comments below. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button, uh, subscribe, do whatever you want. Like I've said before, I really don't make money off this stuff, but I do enjoy getting the videos out there. And I know that crazy, weird YouTube algorithm for some reason likes it when you like, comment, and subscribe, and all that other stuff. So, hey, anyways, this is Tim with Artillery Life. Thank you for watching, and hey, bring on those mean comments, baby. I'm ready. Y'all have a good one. Artillery Life, out.